Whatever time you're watching this, welcome to Hot Topics. Prescott Valley Chamber of Commerce uh, likes to keep you updated on what's going on in our area. Thank you to Mark from the town of Prescott Valley who records this for us and puts it on so you guys can watch it. So you can go to their website, www.pvaz.net, and go to the schedule for the uh, TV shows, and you can pick it up there. So. Be sure you do that. We have some wonderful guests today. They're going to share some things that are going on. It's that time of the year where there is so much going on that we can't even keep track of all of it. So we want to be sure that we tell you all of this good stuff. And our first guest is the general manager of the world's oldest rodeo, Frontier Days. Come on up, J.C. Trujillo. Tell us what's going on. Well, thank you. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be here. We... Uh, are enjoying 131 years of rodeo this year, which is really an unbelievable uh, thing and a great tribute to the past business people and rodeo fans from the past uh, here in Prescott, Arizona that uh, have contributed and made this possible for 131 years. This year uh, we have uh, 677 contestants, professional rodeo cowboys. We have uh, uh, about a hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars added as far as the committee purse pays and then of course the entry fees will be added into that so we don't know exactly what the payoff will be this year but it'll be big uh, we're looking forward to a great rodeo uh, like i said we've got uh, every current world's champion uh entered this year which thrills us we've got uh, of course the vold rodeo company uh again with uh six other stock contractors that will be contributing their top horses and bulls and their top stock to the rodeo. We uh, have had a great pre-sales this year. Uh, the online sales has gone way out of, uh, we're breaking records, uh, and we'd like to say that there are no uh, permits, or there's no performances that are sold out right now. But there's some of them like Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, Friday night, Sunday. Those weekends performances get pretty tight. So if you're going to get tickets, it's a good time to get them now. You can get them online, worldsoldestrodeo.com, or you can call 928-445-4320. Our uh, ticket office is open from 10 to 4 now down there at the rodeo grounds. Or you can, like I said, go online and purchase your tickets there. So uh, we're looking forward to a great rodeo and uh, the 131st. So we're uh, really tickled to have uh, Coors uh, as our presenting sponsor again this year. They've been really good to the Prescott Frontier Days and we're proud to have them as a sponsor. And uh, I guess that's about all I got to say. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. What day does it start? We start, that's a good, that's a good thing to touch on. Uh, Thursday, June the 28th, we start. All the evening performances are at 7.30. Saturday, of course, we have a performance at 1.30 and 7.30. And you can't forget the parade on Saturday morning around the courthouse square. And then we conclude our rodeo on the 4th of July, and that's afternoon performance. The only two afternoon performances are Saturday afternoon at 1.30 and if, on Wednesday, the 4th of July. We are located right uh, off of Miller Valley Road and Rodeo Drive, 840 Rodeo Drive, downtown Prescott. Is there anything special going on for the 131st? Well, you know, every year we seem to think that we're doing something special. And, and uh, uh, yes, there's a lot going on. Uh, our uh, parade, of course, is... Uh, is going to be a great parade. They've got a record number of entries, and um, we're looking forward for a great rodeo. Thank you. Thank you. You bet. It's awesome. We love what goes on at the rodeo, and we do have the brochures here in our office, so if you happen to be around Prescott Valley, stop by and pick up one because it has all the information on it. I forgot to introduce myself. 
My name is Glory. I'm Gr Gloria Gross with the Prescott Valley Chamber of Commerce. Marnie is out of town uh, this week, so I'm taking over for her, but I forgot to introduce myself. Now you know who I am, if you didn't already. All right, something else that's going on really soon, July 4th, I want Hope Hooper to come up from the town of Prescott Valley Parks and Rec Department and tell us what's going on with Pres uh, Parks and Rec. Thank you, Gloria. So after you get done with the rodeo on the 4th, come on out to Mountain Valley Park. We're having our annual 4th of July event. If you've been there before, you know it's a huge event. We get thousands of people out, um, and it's, it's a great day. Event, uh, event starts at 3 p.m. We'll have food trucks on site as well as a beer garden, and you can walk around the park and enjoy your beer and food. And uh, we'll also have Hero Party rentals out with their bouncy houses and uh, all kinds of fun stuff for the kids to do. And last year they were called Freedom Station. They've split up, so same group, just different name. And uh, you can get pre-sale tickets for their uh, activities at the 4th of July event at Freedom Station. Or you can buy them at the event for $19.95 plus tax. And uh, it's a great time. You get all day play for the kids with that uh, wristband. So make sure you get that for, for the bouncy castles. And uh, many of our food vendors will be the same vendors we had last year. So we're going to have some great barbecue out there. We'll have American fare. We'll have all kinds of good stuff. Uh, fried bread, all kinds of fun, delicious food for you to enjoy. And we have some live entertainment for the night as well. Five in the Wheel is going to be our band this year. They'll be performing from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at the Pavilion at Mountain Valley Park. And they put on a great show. So make sure you get out there and come and see Five in the Wheel perform. Wonderful show there. And once they are done, we'll be getting ready for our fireworks show. And that starts at about 9 p.m. once it's dark so that everyone can enjoy the show. It's the best fireworks show you can find in northern Arizona. So make sure you come and see us for that. And all of these activities will be happening at Mountain Valley Park. That's at 8600 East Nace Lane in Prescott Valley. The whole park is, is where the event's going to take place. So we have parking throughout. Make sure you get there somewhat early before the fireworks because our parking does tend to fill up uh, before, well before 8 o'clock. So make sure you get there early. And if you don't, there's plenty of places to park outside of the park where you can just walk right over. I'm sure it'll be a beautiful day and uh, you can just enjoy your walk over there and come check out all the fun stuff we have going on. We'll have face painters there. You can buy glow sticks and all kinds of fun stuff and uh, just enjoy yourself for a wonderful day of activities and if you have any questions about what's going on that day feel free to visit our website www.pvaz.net we have that listed on our calendar for folks to check out or you can give us a call at the parks and recreation department at 928-759-3090 it's going to be a great day so make sure you don't miss the fourth of july event we have so much stuff going on this summer. It's incredible. Um, we have Movies Under the Stars going on right now. Uh, this Friday, June 8th, we'll be playing The Avengers. And all of our Movies Under the Star events take place at the Civic Center, uh, unless you were at the drive-in this past Friday. And thank you for coming to that if you were able to make it. We'll have a survey going up on our Facebook that you can check out. Um, but all of the rest of the events will be at the Event Center, June 8th, June 15th, June 22nd, June 29th, and then we have a special Saturday showing on June 30th. Our upcoming movies are The Avengers This Week, Peter Rabbit The Week After, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids After That, E.T., and then our special showing is Only the Brave on Saturday, June 30th. And we'd like to thank our sponsors for that, um, Arizona's Hometown Radio Group, as well as 89A Dental Care, Truly Nolan, Pres Ace Valley, oops, Prescott Valley Ace Hardware, and uh, Mingus Mountain Academy, as well as Sun Valley Tire and Complete Auto Service. So make sure if you stop into those uh, businesses that you thank them for supporting us. We surely do thank them. If you have questions about the movies, which are mostly Fridays. They, the movies usually start at 7.45 p.m. Sometimes we have to push it back a little just to make sure it's dark. Um, 
If you have questions about those, you can visit our website, www.pvaz.net, or give us a call at 928-759-3090, and we'll help make sure that you get to those movies on time. We also have a free concert coming up on Saturday, June 16th, which is Father's Day weekend. Um, so it's a great opportunity to bring dad and the whole family out for a great concert. Our band is gonna be the Desert Cats. They're a local brass band who plays a lot of uh, local venues and events. We're really excited to have them on board for a free concert on June 16th, which is a Saturday, the Saturday right before Father's Day. Uh, it'll be at the Theater on the Green, which is at the Civic Center, 7501 East Civic Circle in Prescott Valley. So make sure you get there. The show will start at 7 p.m., and the gentlemen are going to be playing for a couple hours. So you'll have time to come and see them, even if you can't get there right at 7. And we'll have Penny's Place food truck there as well, if you'd like to stop by there and get some food they accept cash or credit cards so uh and this event as well as the movies are brought to you by the prescott valley arts and culture commission so thank you to them as well as all of our sponsors for these events if you have questions about the concert or again the movies please feel free to visit our website www.pvaz.net or give us a call at 928-759-3090 and if you're looking for something a little cooler to do, our pool is open now as well. And we have open swim, lap swim, aqua aerobics, swim lessons. We have family swims, parrot and tot swims, and therapy swims. So there's something for everybody. Open swims are all week, 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. Uh, lap swims happen on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays in the morning at 9 to 9.55, and on Mondays and Wednesdays from 6.15 to 7.10. Uh, we have aqua aerobics on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays in the mornings, and Mondays and Wednesdays in the evenings as well. Uh, swim lessons are available throughout the summer. Make sure you check out our website, www.pvaz.net, if you'd like to register your child for swim lessons. Or you can give the pool a call at 928-775-3165, and they can help you uh, get signed up for swim lessons there as well and answer any other questions you might have about the pool. Uh, we have a splash pad there. We've got a great slide. It's a beautiful pool, and it's been packed. So make sure you get there early on open swim days. Again, 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. We usually fill up by 2 p.m., so it's good to get there early. We have concessions open anytime there's open swim so make sure you stop by for a hot dog or some nachos and if you want to reserve the pool for just you and your family you can do that we have reservations available they're filling up fast though so make sure you get your reservation in soon if you want to plan a birthday party or another fun event at Mountain Valley Splash Pool we also have classes in addition to if you want to take the aqua aerobics we have non aqua related classes you can learn instruments with a couple of our teachers we have piano lessons with miranda bailey and those happen throughout the week we also have guitar bass and ukulele lessons with our instructor pete west who's been with us for over 10 years does a great job um, all of the students love these classes so far. We've had a great response for both piano and guitar, and we'd, they'd love to have more students. So if you're interested in learning a new skill for a reasonable price, you can check out our website at www.pvaz.net or give us a call at 928-759-3090, and we can make sure that you get signed up for the classes that you'd like so you can learn a new instrument. Uh, if music isn't your thing, we have all kinds of other classes as well. Uh, a few of our new class opportunities include chair yoga, evening tai chi, and yoga light. So if you're looking to get some exercise, but you don't want to overdo it, you want to have a nice, nice class that's relatively easy and that you can still get a good workout, these are great classes for you. We have those all on our online catalog. If you're looking for classes for the kids, we have ballet, tap, Kids Zumba will resume at the end of July, and other opportunities are coming soon as well. So you can find all of those on our online catalog, www.pvaz.net. To get to the catalog, you'll go to the Parks and Recreation page, and there's a button you can click that says Register Online. Go to that, and you'll see everything that we have available. 
If you're not an online person and you'd like to register for classes, just give us a call, 928-759-3090, and we'll make sure you get signed up for the classes that you're interested in. Let's see. I, I run, I'm almost running out of stuff, but I could keep going. We have more concerts. We have a 40th anniversary event in August which I'm sure we'll talk we'll about talk later about and more. Later. We awesome. Will. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, well, Gloria. Thank you, it was a pleasure. It's always nice to have her here because she tells us so much of what's <laughs> going on. Thank you so much. Thank you, Gloria. you being here today. Have a great day. Thank you too. It's always nice to know what's going on in town, something you can get the kids to and they can participate in. The pool is amazing with that huge slide they've got and then the splash pad is just wonderful for the kids. So be sure you connect with Hope and, and uh, the other um, volunteers or workers over there at uh, Parks and Rec and get connected with something else that's going on. Our next guest is Marilyn Huffman with the Better Business Bureau. There are a lot of scams out there, and I just saw another new one on Facebook this morning. It's like, oh my goodness, there's another one. So she is going to come and talk to us about some of the scams that are going on and tell you kind of how to avoid some of this. Marilyn, come on up. We're so glad to have you today. Thank you for having me. You're Gloria. welcome. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hello. It is my pleasure to be here and to hopefully help guide and protect people from being taken advantage of um, by spreading knowledge and information and getting it out there so we rely on sharing this with you and you in turn turning to other people and sharing it with them so uh, if you have any questions as we go along let me know but uh, we are looking at the first thing I wanted to talk about today is online romance scams um, that was a study that we released earlier this year, 2018, around uh, February and March. And it's a study that we've been working on for about two years due to the dating sites that are out there and just um, what is going on with social media and, and how much information personal is being shared among all of us worldwide. Um, and just the different precautions that you should be taking and what you should be looking out for. So the online romance scam, the study that came out, um, the scheme, it targets usually lonely people. So they're looking for single people or people who have marked themselves as single on different sites, whether it's a dating site or just a regular social media site. And it can take a number of months to see this uh, scheme play out um, because the scammer is just working to gain that person's trust so that can take a long time and they're patient and willing to do it um, eventually the scammer will start to ask for either personal information that you don't necessarily feel comfortable sharing or money in some form or another um, and victims uh, will often turn into unknowing accomplices for money laundering sometimes it can be for um, different devices that maybe they are trying to ship from our country to another country. It's just, it's amazing. <laughs> Some of the stories that we have heard. Um, we actually interviewed a woman from Colorado uh, who became involved with the man who claimed to be living in St. Louis, um, but he was an engineer, so he was working overseas. He, His wife had passed away, so he was a widow, so she that plays a sympathy card there. Um, his parents were dead, but his daughter was alive and well and living with his family in St. Louis. So this was all very believable to her. And they communicated for about eight months um, before he finally asked her for some money to help pay for Hope's school. Um, he made up a story about how um, he didn't have his checks coming in regularly from his company and he just needed a little bit of cushion until he could get that money and then he would pay her back. Um, so as soon as she wired him the $350, uh, she mentioned it to her family because something didn't feel quite right. And her family, of course, very, I hope, kindly said, <laughs> I think that you've been taken advantage of. Um, and so she was able to actually stop the wire transfer and she was able, able to recoup all of the $350 
minus about 50 bucks as far as like fees and transactions and that type of thing. So she cut off communication with this gentleman, of course, who continued to harass her, but she was able to get him blocked. So these are just, there's no typical victim. So, you know, we can all fall prey. And I always say the moment that we think we are invulnerable is the moment that we are most vulnerable. So we really should be just aware of what's going out there. Most of the online scams tend to be, uh, they represent themselves, the scammers, as U.S. military. Um, that is one way to definitely target people in this country um, because we are supportive of our military and we know that there's a lot of military uh, people out there, both men and women, and that's another thing that we're seeing now is it's, it used to be predominantly male scammers reaching out to women, but that has since kind of turned and so we're seeing more and more where it's women who are misrepresenting themselves and reaching out to men. So you just have to be careful out there. Um, they will, military officials um, receive thousands of complaints every year from scam victims, which they really can't do anything about because it's not them uh, that has has done this. Um, they will, they, they would like everyone to know that uh, military mem members will never need money for leave to be able to take a leave from the ship that they're on um, or the tour or duty that they are uh, participating in. Uh, nor health care. So if you <laughs> are in communication with someone, whether it be through a dating site or a social media site, and they are claiming that they need this, please know that, that is a scam. So uh, at any one time, there can be up to 25,000 scammers online working with victims just in our country alone. And that's actually a small number compared to, uh, we have a company that we work with that screens profiles for dating companies, and they work very closely with us uh, for studies like this and with the FBI uh, just to try and stop some of this from happening um, and they shared with the BBB that out of the 3.5 million profiles that they scan monthly 500,000 of those are fake fake profiles so that is your odds are it's better than the lottery <laughs> that's for sure so uh, just you know be aware of that situation um, and that is what I have for online romance scams the next one I wanted to share with you is tied to that because it talks about uh, Facebook and social media and those quizzes that are out there um, that they send you and you know you sometimes we want to know what Disney character are we um, <laughs> that can be fun what rock star are we you know what color of the rainbow are you you know what represents you and so they, they draw you in and your friends share or you see people say I'm blue or I'm purple or I'm Tweety Bird or you know <laughs> go the Warner Brothers route so um, you know they, they seem innocent um, however, social media quizzes tend to ask what you would consider silly or possibly useless questions, um, but hackers can use that information that's provided to penetrate uh, personal accounts, uh, social accounts, other social accounts, and that can in turn give them access to personal information for you and potentially any of the people that you have friended on your page. Um, or family that you might have that you've shared, maybe maybe they have a little bit more information. So um, ways to avoid any of this. Oh, and I should mention also, it's not just scammers. There are businesses who pay big bucks uh, for this information. Um, it's all over the news right now about um, your information being sold by Facebook to four companies, one in particular in China that was is now considered a threat so just be aware of this and I don't think you should live in fear I just think it's it's good to be smart and to be skeptical that's the number one thing you can do to avoid being taken advantage of is to just be skeptical um, the quiz that's being sent to you or the questions that are being asked is it a brand that you trust do you recognize it is there a way for you to verify as soon as you click that button to go to that quiz does it ask you for access to your information adjust your privacy settings to protect yourself remove personal details from your profile when you go on vacation wait to post those pictures of Hawaii or your cruise don't let people know that are looking at your account that you're not at home um, you know just little things like that um, and 
if, if you have children, protect them too by not posting a lot of stuff about them online because um, that can give information to some not so good people that are out there. So just pay attention, exercise caution. If you don't recognize the person who's sending you a friend, re friend request, deny it. It's okay. They won't be offended because they don't know you. <laughs> And then the last thing I wanted to offer is just travel that we have going on this summer. Um, some questions to ask yourself before you sign up for reduced travel, travel clubs, vacation clubs. Does it sound too good to be true? The word free is definitely something you should be cautious of. There's usually some type of fees involved. Um, is it a good deal? Is it actually a good deal? Or could you do better just by calling the hotel yourself, calling the rental company, calling the airlines? Are there hidden costs? Do you have everything in writing? Make sure you get everything in writing. Make sure you read the contract before you sign it. And the number one thing, do you have recourse? So make sure that if you are getting involved with something like this, if you're scheduling that vacation, renting that house uh, in a state when you, you know, in another state when you go to visit family, um, pay with a credit card. If you pay with a credit card, you have some recourse. You're able to uh, dispute something if something goes wrong. So thank you so much for letting me share these tips with you. If you have more questions, just visit our website, bbb.org, or you can give us a call, 928-772-3410. And thank you so much for thank having you. me. It's always good to hear all that kind of stuff that's going on because you never know when somebody is going to hack you. I know I've been hacked on Facebook. <clears throat> it's like, oh, my goodness. And I got a post from some of my friends saying, I know you don't say these kind of words, and I think you were hacked. It's like, oh, my goodness. So thank you, everybody, for listening to us today. We look forward to seeing you next month here at Hot Topics. Thank you to Mark from the town of Prescott Valley, and we will see you next month. Have a great day.